Hey there, this is Wester70 with tips and tricks for Haven and Hearth. So, uh, one of the things I want to talk about today is uh, food. And when you're first starting out in this game, uh, all the food you get is really important. Um, I came close to starving a couple of times in the game, and uh, because I was out wandering around, and I wandered around all over the place looking for rabbits and things like this. And because I didn't actually know how to capture rabbits or wasn't uh, really cognizant of all the little details that I needed to do, uh, a couple of them got away from me, uh, which certainly contributed to uh, uh, my hunger. So I had left uh, baskets of food, uh, food in my baskets at my camp, and people would come by and rip it off. And so that was kind of a real big pain, because uh, you get a lot of trouble to get that food, and then when people do that, it's not too good. So I'd recommend when you're starting out, carry as much of your food with you as possible. Um, primarily, you're going to be looking at rabbits, and then uh, when you get up to it, you can start looking at fish and things like that and you'll be a little bit more comfortable in terms of what you can get. Uh, but I would recommend taking as much of the food with you depending on what it is you're looking for. So that's my tip on food. One of the creatures that you're going to find in this game is the boar. And the boar is up here in the top of the screen just underneath the, uh, the uh, day gauge or the, the day-night gauge if you wish. And uh, so you can see him. He's not doing anything right now. Uh, I've been attacked twice by boars, uh, once when I wasn't paying attention and had uh, inadvertently, not inadvertently, had gone off the screen to look up something on the wiki, and when I came back, I was out cold with a boar goring me, and uh, there were little stars spinning around my head and all that kind of stuff. So that was pretty unpleasant, uh, particularly when I realized that he could uh, wipe me out. So I'm going to retreat now. And God, I hate that music. So I got to stay here in the safety of my little zone. But anyway, I was lucky because uh, uh, I did not flee or try to fight him. And I suppose, according to one of the forums, if I had, I would have been killed. Uh, so basically he kind of knocked me down and I just sat there until he wandered off and then when the stars cleared up I was able to make my getaway at full blast and ran away from him. I was tacked a second time uh, because one was behind a tree when I walked by it and you just don't see him and he got me that way too but again uh, because I wasn't prepared for it uh, he immediately knocked me down and didn't do a horrible lot of damage so I was able to survive that. So that was, you know, just something to keep in mind. And uh, let's see if the, that guy has gone anywhere. Now, boars can go through this fence, apparently. Uh, I've had them on my property before. And I think I see him over there. Yeah, he's on the edge of the, tr on my left edge of the screen right here where the cursor is at. So, and of course with the lag in the game, <laughs> <laughs> it could be entertaining when you're trying to, when you think you've got enough time to get out of the game, <laughs> and you don't. Mm -hmm. So uh, you got to keep that in mind. Uh, your best defense sometimes uh, is to flee, but if you are got lag going down here, and apparently he doesn't have lag on his side, so uh, you're kind of you're kind of up the creek, you know, if you uh, get caught by a boar too close to you. So I always give him a wide berth. And that's it for the my boar tip of the day.